Hey everyone, it's Christmas time. If not Christmas, then it is winter time. So I'm gonna go over craft day. I like to do little things with my art uh, for you guys. So it's something that you can do. You can send me or share with your family or whatever. And today we are going to go ahead and make snowflakes 3D. It already has snowed here a couple of times and hopefully a lot more. But if you don't have snow in your area, you can always have it in your house made out of paper. Hoog E Arts. So for your supplies, you do need some cheap white paper. This is just printer paper that I'm using. Anyone can get it. It's super cheap and you, you have a lot of it so you can make a lot of these. A stapler, it doesn't really matter what size. I have this little one. This stapler right here is gold to me because I went to the store like down the street, which is a dollar store and its system was down so they were closed and then the other dollar store didn't have a stapler, so I had to go 15 minutes out of my way to the Walmart, and then I got this cheap little stapler, because I know I have a stapler around here somewhere. Um, but yeah, you don't even really need a stapler if you have a hot glue gun, or like, you're patient and want to use all my glue. But I'm not patient. Some scissors, and some clear tape. Tape. And again, if you wanna use glue, go for it. Uh, hot glue is messy, and Elmer's glue takes a while to dry. So this is gonna be the quickest way you can do this project. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and get one of your pieces of paper, and you want this to be square. So the easiest way to do that is grab a corner, bring it over until it is flush, like with this tip. And that's gonna go ahead and make your square, and go ahead and give us the shape we want. So at this point, you're just gonna cut off the excess right here, and you'll have your little square. This doesn't have to be perfect just because it's not gonna show abundantly when you're doing your snowflake. Your, your flakes might be a little uneven, but what snowflake is perfect. So once you have your square, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and fold it again. So then you have a shape like this. And then from that, you're gonna go ahead and follow the angle and cut diagonal almost all the way through, leaving about an inch three times. So then you should look like, if this will cooperate, like this. So then we have something like this and this is what's gonna make our flakes. So to start this out, it doesn't matter really which direction you go. All you're wanting to do is bring it together like this and you can use glue or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and use tape just because it's faster. It's not gonna show up very well anyway after you're done. And then you flip it and bring them together on this side. And then flip it. I think you get my drift. Flip it one more time and let's finish this off. So in the end, this is what you're wanting to do and you're gonna need six of these.
All right, so once you have all six of these, what you're gonna wanna do is staple them together like this, and then just go around in a circle form and make sure these designs are facing up like this. And you can use hot glue for this or Elmer's glue, but again, patience is a virtue when you're using that. So what you're left with is this very floppy, sad snowflake. So what you're gonna need to do next is you're going to staple these corners together to keep it together. So let's do that. All right, so we're left with this, a 3D snowflake. And if you wanna hang it, I do have fishing wire somewhere or fishing line. I'm not really sure where, you know, as a fisherman, I have a lot of it, but I never know where it is, so I'll be back. All right, I'm back and I found some trilene, very clear. So that's good for hanging these so they look like they're more like in the sky hovering, I guess. But if you're curious, it's trilene. XL smooth casting, fishing wire. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a little bit, maybe a little more than I need. And oh, on my snowflake, let's just say this is the top of it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my lead pencil here and just poke a hole through. Uh, just cause it's paper, it's not gonna be that difficult. So anything you can poke a hole with, and if you wanna reinforce this, you can always use tape and like really make it to where it's not gonna rip if someone grabs it or gets hit. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and string it up. So after your triple, quadruple knot, go ahead, cut off the excess. And there we go, we have a hanging snowflake in 3D, the real world. So I hope you enjoyed this guys. This was something that I would do with my students when I was teaching. Uh, I did a 3D art class on a very low budget. So this is one of those things that is fun for everyone and you can decorate your house. I actually have a picture somewhere. I'll try to post it on the screen if I can find it of my Christmas tree, first year out of college. It was a pallet Christmas tree and it had this as the star. So this paper was on my trashed, like someone just threw that pallet in a trash and I just cut into a tree shape and put this as my, my star. Some fun things you can do with these is spray it with like spray adhesive and glitter it or you can spray paint it or whatever. Just be creative, have fun. And I hope that you enjoyed this and it's something that you can try and feel free to send me pictures. If you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because you get to see this face all the time. Yeah, that's awful advertisement. <laughs> and as usual, there are videos on each side of me. Get the jitterbugs out. Get them out.